हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल पी जी टीचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको एस आई सी एस ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन अवर सेंटर वी हैव लॉट ऑफ टीचिंग एक्टिविटीज विच इंक्लूड्स हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग एज वेल दिस इज फॉलो अप वीडियो ऑफ द क्विज यू कैन सी द लिंक ऑफ द क्विज हियर एंड where i showed a dens brown cataract tackle so in the previous video you can see the parameters that i have used and uh, i did the stop and chop maneuvers emulsified uh, dens nucleus completely and uh, in these cases where we are tackling dens brown cataracts there is always a possibility of zonular weakness so you have to be very careful throughout the procedure take care of cordial endothelium by using good dispersive viscoelastic time to time and that is what i did in this case and uh, finished the case uh, quite well so the nucleus emulsification went well and then as i moved on to the cortex removal so we found something strange happening when a fiber over here got uh, engaged in the i port and uh, obviously this is not cortex and it's a vitreous strand so that's where we stopped the video last time and now we want to know what i did later so you can see that uh, vitreous strand which got engaged into the eye probe and there you go now it's more clear it's not a cortex so vitreous fibers are more of rubbery nature and uh, now what i'm doing is i'm pressing the reflux button and uh, pulling out this vitreous strand which has been aspirated by the eye probe and uh, now what i'm trying to do is remove the remaining cortex but again you can see the vitreous strand got aspirated so i released it again i want to clear as far as a possible cortex so that uh, when i use ctr because i have to use ctr now to stabilize the back the area of dialysis i don't want it to get trapped so what i am trying to do is keeping the eye probe away from the area of vitreous and just aspirate the remaining cortex so in one part i was able to do that but here as uh, that was the area of dialysis you can see the vitreous started prolapsing even more those are more vitreous strands and now you can see the pupil peaking as well indicating that the vitreous has now got trapped in the incision so this is the right maneuver to do bss ovd exchange making sure that there is no more vitreous prolapse now i want to cut out this strand so i will be using anti vitrectomy but before that i decided to stabilize the bag here is not a rent but a dialysis because you can see if you go back in the video and see again when i injected visco the bag formed nicely unlike in case of a pc rent there will be pc folds so ctr goes in i am using the left hand sinski to make sure the ctr is going into the bag and then using the capsurexis forceps i inserted it carefully into the bag now i made another incision on the nasal side here so that i can use it for vitrectomy but it was little difficult because patient's nose so i went through the main incision and just cut the strand while doing that just make sure that you don't cause collapse of the anterior chamber and once the vitreous strand is cut i am going to place the eye in the bag bag is stable except uh, there is a little bit of cortex which is trapped there on the temporal side and i am just examining and uh, i want to remove this cortex as well now there are a couple of issues with this trapped cortex one is ctr is holding it down and also that is the area of dialysis so as i moved uh, with the coaxial eye probe here and try to aspirate the cortex uh, you find that uh, there is more vitreous prolapse so i decided to uh, leave this idea 
and uh, you can see that uh, vitreous is prolapsing more and more so again i went in with the uh, vitrectomy pro and cut out the uh, vitreous strands here so here maybe in the hindsight i could have done a dry aspiration so pushing in some ovd and maybe use a bimanual cannula to aspirate this cortex but we are always wiser in the hindsight here i just left that little bit of cortex i will give more topical steroids later on so that it settles down and that shouldn't be a problem so thank you so much for watching and do subscribe to my youtube channel for more quiz and more informative videos do check all my playlists thank you